the bathroom while they saw my ad because it was their chance to break from the show. But they tell me something that the people meter, which is a small machine installed in two or three hundred years, is telling them the web is all about precise one to one. 100%, almost 100% tracking of everything you do. Everything is tracked. If someone does not see your ad, you will see it in your systems. Marketing efforts can be measured for their respective effectiveness. Again, when we're talking about the internet, when everything is measured, we can simply try to compare our different channels. We can see how much we spend on SEO, on PR, on email, and compare the, the, the effectiveness, not just by quantity, of how much traffic we got to the website, or how much we spend, but the quality, which is the value each campaign or each channel provided us back into the system. The methodology will, will include three different kinds of metrics. Descriptive metrics, who saw my website, what happened on my website, and what didn't happen with my website. Just to get a glimpse and a quick look on what are the facts, the bottom part, the right facts of what is happening to, to know, not to understand, just to know, just to write down how many users got into my website. The second phase is the analytic metrics. Why things happen? Why things don't happen? If I get 1,000 users to my homepage and no leads. Why does it happen? Where do they run away? This is an, an analytic measure we will try to understand. And the bottom line measures, metrics, conversion ratio and return on investment and their respective friends, which all try to assess and quantify in terms of money and percentage if all of our efforts are valuable the money <coughs> and don't do the Bahamas. We will start to talk now about the web analytics uh, um, approaches. Web analytics basically is the methodology that enables us to analyze and understand what is happening on our website per these different metrics that we previously talked about. There are two current approaches. One is by weblog files. Second one, a bit more uh, new, is JavaScript tracking. Both, uh, both have the related the pros and cons, and we'll try to uh, explain what's going on in each one of them. Let's start with the tracking. What are log files? Anybody know? Anyone see log files? Didn't see? I think there must be some confusion though because when we asked you guys to send log files, some people weren't really sure what it was, right? Right. So they sent the wrong page. The next slide will show exactly how it is. A log file is the log of the web server of our website. It actually logs each action that the server uh, serves to uh, our website. Every single click, hit, image, link, referral, everything that happens is recorded inside. A few examples are death in time, client IP address, requested file or query string that they search for on our website, user agent, what browser they are using, the referrer, where they came from, and their cookie. What is their cookie value? Well, that's exactly the thing, that the server, if it's configured properly, whether it's Apache, Linux, or uh, whether it's Microsoft IIS, can take the referrer. When, when someone clicks to your website, the server automatically knows where it came from. It's got, if you click on the link, they just keep the URL. Don't get any. If you are just typing a URL, there's no error, of course. 
But if you are going to Google and you're searching for your own company and you click on the ad, that taken care of. Then the server pulls automatically the, the link where, where it's found your ad and it stores it on the server in the log file. This is something Google does. No, it's your, 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 your web server does it automatically. It's a very basic uh, feature of uh, the HTTP uh, protocol. Here on the right, you can see uh, a photo from my computer which uh, includes log files for our website. I just took a screenshot. You can see every day has its respective uh, log file, and every day has got uh, different uh, weight based on the uh, amount of visitor or data it was on the same day. Okay? And here in the bottom is how the actual file looks. Here with the um, signs, you can see the details of the server. It's a Microsoft IIS file, the date of the log file, the fields that are in the log file. You can see the, uh, where is it? Okay. And here's some examples where date and time, client IP address, requested files, the referrer, google.com, which comes automatically, the status code 200 is okay, 404 not found, etc. The cookie value, if you have a cookie, and the user agent, which is the kind of browser you, uh, the user uh, used. Guys, if you have questions, just put your hand up. We're using web traps. So where does that go? In both ways. Not a good image, eh? But in both ways. <laughs> <laughs> is that considered more meaning out of the or is that like a JavaScript? Uh, well, most of the uh, most of the software vendors nowadays offer both methods. They offer log file analysis, they offer JavaScript nothing. You can choose what version you like to use. I will show uh, in a few slides how to compare and when. Most of the, the, the big vendors offer both ways. You can choose both. Okay, th this is uh, about everything for log files. So before I go to JavaScript, any questions? <laughs> 